this is funny as hell to me. So I follow a few people on YouTube. I have, you know, and um, for various reasons, some are educational, some are um, just purely for entertainment. I have car, car channels that I watch. I have real estate channels I watch. I have, you know, a little bit of everything. So, um, financial channels, I, whatever. Anyway, so I was looking into um, what they call the, the, I don't know, the, 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 the dark side of YouTube, sort of say, and that is um, um, comprised of various people and, and stuff like that. And, and it was funny because I noticed a lot of these YouTubers, they, <laughs> They talk about I'm outside. You know, they're then like in verbal confrontation with whoever um, their adversary or something on YouTube. I'm outside, and I was just looking at these videos, and I'm like, you know what? This month, this guy said he was outside twice. This guy was out twice outside of his home twice. And that got me thinking. <laughs> what do you do? How do you live your life when you're only outside twice? So you're a tough guy two times a month. Boy, I tell you, that is funny. And he, you know, I mean, and they boast about it. I'm outside. Drop me your location. I drop you mine. And they never meet. Nothing ever happens. Nothing ever comes of it. But I'm outside. Twice a month. And I was like, that is fucking crazy for somebody to think that being outside twice, twice a month is a tall tale sign that he's tough. Or that he accomplished something. Oh, what? That's an accomplishment. To come out. Twice. Two times. In a month. Man. Can you imagine? That, that individual, those individuals, they are, they, you know, they're in a free reign society but they are actually in prison they're in prison psychologically they're in prison in so many ways and in, and it could be also that they don't come outside because of out of fear of what can happen to them for being outside somebody else probably has them in prison you know because they're shook about coming outside and then on top of that they tell other people don't come outside it's not safe people getting shot people get killed you know that's been happening for forever and it's going to continue to happen for forever there are violent people out there things do happen there are criminals out there but if you have it in your mind that you cannot go outside because of something happening to you, then you know what? Um, you have a problem. You have a problem and you may need to see uh, somebody. You may need to see somebody if you're that fearful of coming outside 
and living life, enjoying life, enjoying socializing and meeting people. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. In fact, I would never trade outside for being inside. I live comfortably, but I don't want to be inside all the time. Imagine how your life would be if out of 30 to 31 days out of a month, only come out twice, twice you're outside and you have to announce it. You have to scream it from a mountaintop that you're outside because you came out for the second time in a month span. Man, get out of here. Boy, I tell you. I tell you. I tell you, I don't get it. I don't get it. Everything is outside. As much as there's violence outside, there is love outside. As, as, as probably as many good people you would encounter outside, there's just as many bad people outside. The question is, who do you prefer to surround yourself with? Who do you prefer to be around? Or how do you want to navigate through life outside? If you're walking outside with no purpose, nowhere to go, nothing to do, you want to be in the hallway, you want to be a lobby boy stuck in the lobby all day, or you just want to be around men all day. Maybe if you sprinkle a little social interaction with some females, maybe you want to come outside, or maybe they'll drag you outside, but you don't even have, some of these people don't even have females calling them to come outside. You know what? Stay inside. Don't come outside. Because people like that, obviously they're pariahs. Obviously they've done, done something that they can't come outside. And that's it. Open, shut, done. I'm not talking about this anymore, but I think it was freaking hilarious that I, I thought about it and I said, you know, wow. Imagine that's, you know, I, I, I go into the, how I felt when they said that you had to quarantine for two weeks. Remember in the beginning of the pandemic, uh, or, you know, we were locked down for about two weeks. I was furious, furious. I thought I was in prison all over again. I didn't know what the fuck to do. I was ready to pull my pubic hairs out, pull them out, yank them out. I needed to be outside. I needed to be outside. What do you do inside all day? Your kids go to school. Your wife works. I mean, you could um, you could you would think that you know people are doing what they have to do in the household, and so you're just home all alone doing what? Doing what with yourself? You know, when you when you when you when you don't show any signs of progression so I mean you just there uh, rubbing one out every day or something I mean that's that's not life you know and um, in light of this all this that I'm saying I was I don't know where the hell I was or whatever where the hell did I go this weekend oh 42nd Street Times Square just uh, having a good time you know bonding oh uh, thank you it's nothing and um you know just just doing what we do, you know? What do you gotta say? What do you gotta say?
Ketchup, hot sauce, let's check this, 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 um, it was a good time, a fun time. Shout out to my daughter. Um, but um, I was outside. I was outside. <laughs> but oh, what I was getting at was, you know, things seem to be slowly but surely, you know, mandates are being lifted. Uh, quite a few people were out, and I've been to 42nd a couple times, you know, during the pandemic, and um, I've, I've been, I went cross country during the pandemic, you know, on my, what, I went to 22 states and uh, whatever, so, you know, I mean, that didn't, nothing, that didn't stop me, but um, to know that, you know, that, um, that uh, you know, there are fewer and fewer cases each and every day, more people are starting to come out, um, it's a beautiful thing. I can't wait to get out there. I can't wait to meet new people. I can't wait to socialize. I can't wait to go to the beach. Uh, you know, I'm just, you know, it's, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm you're a kid in a candy store. I mean, think about it. You have the whole world at your exposure, uh, at your exposal, uh, disposal. No, nah, not this, but that's no, because that's like you're throwing in the trash. You have the whole world there, you know, right for the taking. You know, it's only right that you go out there and you enjoy it and you in it and um, have fun. It's your gym, you know, it's your gym. The world is your gym, you know, so so I was excited to see, you know, the amount of people that were out there and a lot of, you know, uh, people were out without masks and um, it felt right. It felt comfortable uh, for the most part. Um, uh, we didn't go anywhere to eat. Uh, we had a couple hot dogs, and and uh, I had a sausage. She had a couple hot dogs, and and we just you know moped around, you know hung hung out and walked around, and and we saw Batman and, and Transformers and all type of crazy stuff, and it was just great. It was a fantastic time. Um, but all that was done outside. Batman wouldn't come to my house. A transformer guy that I gave a high five to wouldn't come outside. You know, things, you know. So that. Why do I say all of this, you know? Um, in sum, don't waste your life sitting around. You know, I know that not everybody's the same. And uh, there are people that are just just like to be home and you know um, they're they're comfortable there they're safe there you know maybe they're raising children or they have a husband or wife to attend to um, that's all fine and dandy but you know time uh, time is passing by and our time here is limited and as I always say, you know, there's no remake, there's no do-over, uh, there's no rewind or pause button, um, you can't freeze time. So, um, the moment is now. The moment is now to do whatever it is that your heart desires. Um, live your life, live out your dreams, um, just do whatever makes your heart content you know as long as it it is you know respectful and it and as long as 
you're not hurting anybody or disrespecting anybody man live it up live it up live it up man live it up live it up I can't stress that enough live it up live it up you know and let me say this a lot of people don't feel as passionate as I feel about life because a lot of people have not lost their life and it's like they say you know you you know you you don't you know how could you if you don't have a reference point you know how could you know how would you possibly know what life is really about or you know how much of it should you enjoy of it if you've always had it so you don't know what it is to feel like not having it and I didn't have it for a long time I didn't have it for a long time not my choice but I just didn't have it for a long time and um, even still when I didn't have it I was free here um, but when I was actually freed um, my life was never the same my life was never the same there's no stopping there is no stopping me there is no stopping me and you can't you, you can't stop something you can't stop this you can't you just can't and um, not to say that I'm a mortal but I'm a mortal I'm a mortal in the sense that my my willingness to live my spirit is is something that it's is is just it's just infinite it's infinite it's infinite and um as long as i stay grounded and i stay rooted um i can't be stopped and um that's how i'm going to continue to be and um, not saying that, you know, everybody should approach things in the manner that I do, but what I am saying is that um, you could be walking dead. You could be. And um, you could be withering away. You could be wasting your life. You could be mismanaging your time um, in many so many ways you could be losing precious time and um, if it's anything that you've picked up from this video is um, you never get time back so uh, utilize the time that's here and now to uh, to feel, to love, to cry, to share, to experience, to laugh, because all of these things, th these are wonderful emotions, man. Wonderful emotions and um, emotions and feelings are the true language of the soul. I'm gonna leave that on that note. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. You know what? And mm, I'm gonna say this is Monday motivation. Hey! Peace, everyone.